17. And when he came down with them, he stood in the plain and the company of his disciples and a great multitude out of all Judah, Jerusalem, and from the sea of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear and to be healed of their disease. This is the secret about how this thing works. I think that's the first scripture I read today. Matthew chapter 4 from verse 23. We didn't finish it. He went about all cities and villages preaching the gospel of the kingdom, healing every manner of sickness and disease among the people. And then he was casting out devils. And the Bible said great multitude followed him. If you preach the kingdom without demonstrating the power, you have empty seats. If you demonstrate the power, then the multitudes will have patience to hear what you are saying. Let me say this. You can study and have PhD in ministry. The multitudes will go to an illiterate that doesn't even speak well because he has the power of God back in him. You will see professors sitting listening to that illiterate. Ministry, according to Jesus, has four elements in it. Preach, teach, then heal and cast out devils. Two is the ministry of the world. The other two is the ministry of power. We are talking about going back to the apostolic foundation. The blueprint that the master left for us. Because his mission is our mission. And he also showed us how to get the job done. It is adherence to this that fills the largest stadiums everywhere. It's the same thing on earth. I came to a northern part of Canada. Those towards the very, very cold region. And they had this meeting. About maybe 1,200 people in that place. There's this uh, Mexican woman that is completely paralyzed. That they dropped in the front. She was lying in the stretcher. I just went on. I know that the seed, if you see the people with faith, if you see the people with the message of the cross, the chains that hold them will lose. When I saw a lot of captive people that are all over the place, I don't know what my host probably advertised that the man will pray for the sick. That's not what I came to teach. I came with my this and I dropped it on the stage. When I looked, I saw a lot of whatever. I dropped the kingdom side and went back to the grace message. To be able to help a lot of people that are held by Egypt. And I did. That woman was the first to jump out. I didn't pray for her. She jumped out of that thing and started running. And then the thing broke everywhere. Do you know what happened? That meeting expanded. People ran into town. and they, These are white people. There were only four people that were blacks there. Me, my wife, and two other people. Every other person was white. There was this white boy. His hand was like alligator skin. Scales on his hand. Parents don't know what it is. Power go hit him, wipe that thing off. Give him back his skin. Do you know what happened? You see this thing that you say well, you people don't have patience to stay in church. Not when they see the power of God. Because from the next day I needed to teach the kingdom. And I will preach like Paul. The type that people like one hour 30 minutes. They are there. But when I finish, brrr, the next day. Now, by the third day, the Holy Spirit now fell heavily on that city. He took me to the airport and I entered the flight and flew. And then took another flight from Toronto and flew and landed in the US. And when we got in into our room, it was night. We rested a little. For some reason, I decided to call the pastor to know what is going on. He said, they are still in the meeting. I said, what is going on? He said, nobody has been able to go home. 
That thing that fell in the afternoon is here. This is around 9.30 in the night. All these poor are white. God, it's the same result. It will get that same result in Ukraine. It will get it in Russia. It will get it in the Middle East. It will get it in Nigeria. It will get it in America. It will, the same thing. I was preaching in Dubai when this kind of commotion hit. I ended up with 16 invitations. And these are Indians and Pakistanis and Philippine, Filipinos. That's how we finally entered India and started entering, you know. If you preach the gospel, the Bible gospel, you will get the same result today. Jesus has not changed. The Holy Spirit has not changed. God himself has not changed. The gospel has not changed. It's human beings that are adulterating it. 